We are working on a device for patients with trichotillomania, an obsessive hair pulling disorder. This project was posed to us as part of our capstone, and we saw that it was just something that was pretty different. It was more of a psych psychology project, and we figured that this would be a great way to kind of involve bioengineers as well as electrical engineers since the project was pitched to us as um, a way of creating a gamification for trichotillomania, which means that you reward the individual with positive rewards if they are able to complete a no-pull streak, for example. This is our smartphone app, coded in Flutter, and we also have device, uh, the Arduino paired here with all of its corresponding sensors. Zach will be our user, and I'm gonna walk through the demo, and we're currently at 30 pulls for the week. Click connect, then I'm gonna go down here and then click notify, and that'll start allowing the device to start picking up pulls. So you see the timer here at 1.30. Zach is gonna show us um, a pinch, and that timer should be reset accordingly. And you see that, and so now the app registered that as a pull. And also, um, our device works very well with um, non-pull, non-pulling motions as well. So as you can see here, He'll pinch to the outside, he'll hover around elsewhere, but we don't see that timer going off because our algorithm notices that it does not see it as a pull. We do have um, the application that has, like it produces a bar graph so you can see how the, like what your um, status of pulling is for one day or for one week or for one month. So you can kind of track your progress through that. And then the glove does like communicate to whatever it senses that you have pulled your hair, it'll automatically upgrade it on the app side of things. It's been a challenge handling, you know, the pandemic and students, uh, you know, students obviously not able to visit each other in person. We have a couple members, uh, one member that lives in Dallas, another two members that live farther away so they can't come to campus all the time. It's a real balance of trying to get people to, one, stay motivated and keep working, but also kind of keeping them on track. We were able to do it with all the hurdles and all of the challenges, and we've been able to move this far. And I think that's the really cool part of like our project and how we've gone through it.